Hello and welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. And uh, uh, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a Dollar Tree a haul going here. Uh, so I'd like to discuss uh, a little bit about the items and why I purchased them. <clears throat> now these first two items were not Dollar Tree haul. Um, they actually came from Ollie's, but uh, <clears throat> there are a couple putty knives. This one is one and a fourth, and this one's two inch putty knives. Um, pretty inexpensive, D uh, 79 cents and 99 cents. Uh, the reasons that I purchased these two putty knives uh, is uh, mainly because of my skinning. Uh, I have that raccoon that I still haven't uh, fleshed yet. But these actually work really well to help me flush hides. And uh, I needed a couple new ones, so that's the reason that I purchased these. And uh, the rest of these items are Dollar Tree items. Uh, so I was in the uh, cosmetic aisle with my wife in this nice little wet and wild dual pencil sharpener. Uh, I checked the uh, craft aisle and you know of course they have pencil sharpeners too but this one right here seemed to seem like it would work even better but uh, yeah this one I am going to use for multi purposes mainly the two main reasons are one I am going to use this to create tinder for fire you know, you just basically stick the stick in there and sharpen it. And what comes out is tinder. And also uh, for arrows. Uh, you can also use this sharpener to sharpen the tips of sticks for arrows. To place on notches, knocks. And also um, to place on not only the knocks, but also the um, tips. If you did not want to use just the sharpened end of the stick which I have used many many times they work just as well but if you actually have tips that you, you want to place onto uh, the wood um, you can sharpen the edges enough to uh, get those tips on or you can use them to attach the the knocks on the back so another very nice useful and small item that will go into my kit now these next two items uh, work with my project that I'm coming up with the uh, the melting and uh, uh, ingots uh, and trinkets of aluminum, copper, and lead. Mainly aluminum for these, but I got this nice little Dollar Tree muffin pan, which I'm going to use as the mold for the aluminum to make the ingots out of. Now, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos on this uh, because I personally, as of yet, have not done it myself. But I've been watching plenty of videos on it. And one important thing that I have heard uh, is that if you place the, the aluminum in these as is, a lot of times they get stuck and they won't come out. And uh, the suggestion that I have uh, seen the most is to rust these up, to make them rusty, because uh, the aluminum will not stick to the rusted ones like they do to the new ones. And uh, to rust it up quickly, I'm going to use this, the Works Basic uh, Toilet Bowl Cleaner. And uh, from my understanding, just uh, squirt a little bit of this in here and let it sit and it'll rust it up really nice and uh, do it quickly and uh, now that uh, I heard from my wife uh, Michelle told me that if I stuck the works in here it would rust it up so I'm taking her word for it and I'm gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna squirt a little bit of works into each one of these and let it sit and hopefully it rusts it up uh, if it doesn't work I'll just uh, throw some little bit of get it damp and just throw it outside and let it sit and rust up that way but regardless however I get it to rust up I'm going to get it to rust a tad bit just to just to be on the safe side and lastly I purchased some stuff for my stash 
Let's go ahead and scoot these over here. Here. And here. So I have uh, three cans of this chicken luncheon meat. And uh, each one of those cans uh, is 120 calories. So I have 360 calories in he with these three here. Now, uh, these armor potted meat is considerably smaller. You can see it's considerably smaller. But uh, each one of these cans is 180 calories. So I have uh, 1,060 calories right here. So uh, that will go well into my uh, my stash uh, I haven't really shown a lot of my food stash and and things of that nature and to be totally honest I'm not going to um, I just uh, I kind of wanted to add a little more meat product canned meat product to my to my overall stash uh, just to kind of create a little more balance than what I have at the moment because sometimes I like to dip into my stash and you know grab some spam or something like that you know in the middle of the night I'm hungry and I don't want to go and eat the stuff we have at that in, in you know the house for eating uh, sometimes I, I'm wanting you know some of this kind of stuff like this in the middle of the night while I'm sitting up doing nothing so I'll go into my stash and, and I'll grab a can of spam or a can of lunch meat or something like that and make a sandwich or two so uh, it's been a while since I've uh, replaced some of that stuff so I think it's uh, it's about time that I need to replace some of my uh, my more meat wise uh, product in my in my stash so uh, there we go uh, added three more uh, chicken luncheon meats and uh, six more of the potted meats. Uh, thanks for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.